getting sent to a little Pueblo for my first area was really a blessing. It was quite a culture shock, but um, the people in Tikul are so welcoming and they're, they know everybody in their Pueblo, so they just take care of each other and everyone is outdoors. Like they'll walk outside and they have their doors open. There's not really air conditioning or heating, so they just kind of open up their door and um, you could just walk down the street and most of the people would be sitting outside of their house enjoying the weather um, or cooking and they that that's very different from where I'm from in in the US I feel like we're in our houses more and our doors are shut so that was a big change something I noticed right away um, that they are just really open and everyone knows who their neighbor is and you could ask for directions and they they knew where somebody lived because they knew their neighbors and um, I think the biggest the kind of jobs that they had the biggest industry there in that Pueblo were motor taxis they're like bikes with little like a seat for um, in front of like a motorcycle they would have a little booth in front for you to to sit. It could sit up to like four people, but I've definitely seen like six or seven stuffed in there. Um, and for 10 pesos, they would take you anywhere you want to go in the Pueblo. So you can go from one side to the other, 10 pesos, or you could, you know, go a couple streets and it'd be the same. So they would be out in the morning um, to get the kids to school. A lot of times parents would just give their kids 10 pesos and they could take a little motor taxi to school. And that was, it was really cool to see that. And um, they would have little horns they'd honk if they were trying to get someone to come in or they'd have music on top to try to entice you to use theirs instead. Um, and in this Pueblo, they, there were two, there were three churches um, and one of them was their stake center, well, their branch, the center, so they were just a branch down there. Um, and so they're the church they used for district meetings, and they would have all the Pueblos come to Tikul um, for any district events or, like, to watch general conference and stuff like that. And um, in this area, I had two companions. One was my trainer, and I had her for three weeks, and we worked really hard, and I tried to learn the area, but she was transferred, and um, my new companion, we kind of opened it up, like, together, because um, I didn't really capture all, everything I needed to know in the first three weeks, so we learned a lot, and the members were such a big help, and that was really great.